Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Today, or well, last week in fact, we celebrated Carers Week uh, between 15 and 21st of October. The theme for this year was Carers Count, and the statistics uh, certainly support that theme. There are 2.7 million carers in Australia, uh, and they provide unpaid care and support to family members and friends with, with disability, mental illness, chronic condition, terminal illness, or who are frail aged. One in eight Australians provide unpaid care and support to a family member or friend with a disability. 272,000 carers are under the age of 25. This equates to around one in 10. Around 856,000 carers, that is 32%, are primary carers, those who provide the most informal assistance to another individual. The annual replacement value of this care, the cost were it to be provided by paid workers, is estimated at $60.3 billion. That's more than a billion dollars per week. Now, we've heard a lot of statistics today, uh, and it's important that we, we raise those statistics and talk about those statistics, but behind every statistic is a personal story. Carers give up so much of their time and, and so much of their effort in caring for a loved one or a friend. Um, uh, these carers are emotionally, physically drained, uh, drained of finances, but they do it out of the love for their friend or family member. And uh, they really ought to be commended for putting uh, their own lives often on hold so that they can help that person. The statistics also show that the disadvantage that carers suffer as a result of that love that they show, their income suffers. In fact, the weekly median income of primary carers aged between 15 and 64 was 42 per cent lower than non-carers. Carers provide 1.9 billion hours of unpaid care annually in Australia. That's 36 million hours each week. Their work participation rates are significantly lower. 56 per cent of primary carers aged between 15 to 64 participate in the workforce compared to 80 per cent of non-carers. And the government recognises the importance that these carers provide to our fellow Australians. The government provides $8 billion in direct support for carers through carer payments for 250,000 people who are unable to support themselves due to caring and loving for uh, a close friend or family member. The Turnbull government established the National Disability and Carers Advisory Council, which brings together leaders from business, and the disability and carer sectors to provide advice on proposed policies and legislation affecting people with disability. The government is currently developing a new integrated plan for carer support services announced in the 2015-16 budget. As the first stage of this plan, we, we established the Carer Gateway with an investment of $33 million which provides carers with comprehensive information about the support available to them through uh, a website, a national phone service and an interactive service finder. That gateway takes around 500 calls and over 15,000 websites, uh, website visits each month. The government's reforms to superannuation opposed last year by Labor allowed carers who have had interrupted work arrangements to make catch-up contributions when they are able to go back to work and allowed the spouses of carers who have an income less than $40,000 to make contributions to that partner's super. But, Madam Deputy Speaker, I don't want to turn this into a partisan speech. There wouldn't be a person in, in this building that does not recognise the importance that carers play in our society. Um, government could not simply function. It could not simply function if we had to uh, pay carers for the work that they do. I want to uh, express my gratitude to all of the carers in Fisher 
and throughout Australia for the fantastic work that they do. They ought to be congratulated.